Laws of exponents dividing monomials, lesson 4.3 notes. Example number one. Simplify and find the value of each expression when possible. So again, the quotient of powers property says when you're dividing, you subtract exponents. So let's look at example A. I got 12 to the 6 divided by 12 to the 4th. Off to the side, please write 12 to the 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2, so this would be 12 squared. 6 minus 4 is 2, so that's how we get 12 squared. So then you would put 12 squared into your calculator, and if you did that, 12 times 12 is 144. Since the base and exponent were both digits, we were able to go one step farther to find the final answer of 144. So again, 12 minus 6 is how I got, or sorry, tw <laughs> 6 minus 4 is how I got the 2, and 12 squared is 144. Okay, let's look at B. So I've got 2 to the 18th over 2 to the 10th. So off to the side, this would be 2 to the 18 minus 10. 18 minus 10 is 8. If you would put 2 to the 8th in your calculator, you would get 256. So again, I took 18 minus 10 to get 8, and then 2 to the 8th is 256. For C, this would be x to the 121st minus 111, 121 minus 111 is 10. So this would be x to the 10th. Because the base in this case is a variable, I can't go any farther, and x to the 10th is my final answer. For D, when you don't see an exponent, put a 1. So for D, I have x to the A minus 1. Does that, can you simplify that at all? Can you take A and subtract 1 and get something else? No. So therefore, x to the A minus 1 is our final answer. For E, again, put a 1. So we've got Y, the exponent in the numerator is A plus 1. We're subtracting the denominator exponent, so minus 1. Well, in this case, you've got a positive 1 and a negative 1 here. They would cancel out. So we would get Y to the A. 1 minus 1, that would cancel. So y to the a. One more. For f, I've got z, and then the numerator exponent is r plus s. The denominator exponent is t, so I'm going to subtract the t. Well, r plus s minus t, they are all different terms. They're not like terms, therefore I cannot combine them. So that right there is my final answer. All right, now, again, when you are dividing, you subtract the exponents. Now I want to show you a way to do this that makes it just a little bit easier. This stuff up over here off to the side, we're not going to be writing that down. So this here, you're not going to be writing that down when you do each problem. Instead, we're going to show our work a little bit different. So let's go back to A. I want to go back to A. What you're going to do is you're going to completely cross out the term with the smaller exponent. So 12 to the fourth has the smaller exponent. 
and then I'm going to subtract exponents, larger exponent minus smaller exponent. So again, I'm going to take the 6 minus the 4. 6 minus 4 is 2, and that's how I got 12 squared. 2 to the 10th, that has the smaller exponent. So I completely cross it out. And then 18 minus 10 is 8. That's how I got 2 to the 8th. x to the 111, that's the smaller exponent. I completely cross it out. 121 minus 11 is 10. That's how I got x to the 10th. Now, for these problems that are smaller, you don't really need to do that, but we're going to get into bigger problems where this is going to be a must. So, if you look, I've got this big problem right here. I've got a to the second is the smaller exponent. I completely cross it out. 3 minus 2 is 1. This would be b to the first. It's the smaller exponent. I completely cross it out. 5 minus 1 is 4. c to the sixth has the smaller exponent. I completely cross it out. 8 minus 6 is 2. d to the third has the smaller exponent. I completely cross it out. 4 minus 3 is 1 e to the tenth has the smaller exponent. I completely cross it out. 20 minus 10 is 10. f to the fifth has the smaller exponent. Completely cross it out. 10 minus 5 is 5. This would be g to the first. It's got the smaller exponent. I completely cross it out. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then last, h to the third has the smaller exponent. 15 minus 3 is 12. Notice how there is nothing left on the bottom. Everything gets crossed out. So that would technically be a 1, which when there is a 1 in the denominator, you don't need to worry about it. So my final answer here would be a, b to the 4th, c squared, d, e to the 10th, f to the 5th, g, h to the 12th. Notice the ones that had an exponent of 1. I didn't bother writing the 1 because we don't need the 1s. So that is why it's best to start crossing out the smaller term because when we get into the problem like this, you're going to want to show your work this way. It gets um, less confusing if you try to do it without crossing things out. So again, one more time. When you are dividing, you're going to subtract the exponents. If you have any questions about example number 1, let me know.